This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Blevins with Horse and Around from Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. Today, we're going to talk about flies and the issue with flies, especially during the summer, and how to protect your horse from flies. And is there any diseases that we'd be worried about that can be transmitted by any flies? You have to remember that there's a lot of different flies that are out there that can affect the horse. One being the most common is the house fly that's going to be around a lot of the barn areas. The other one is going to be stable flies. They look very similar to that of the house fly. However, whenever you get bit by a fly, it's not the house fly, it's probably the stable fly. And the stable fly also is the one that's going to bite the horse and cause them to do more stomping and those kind of things around their legs. Horses that are out in pasture will have also two other different species of horse or of flies. One being the face fly, which will be around the head of the horse, and then horn flies. They can be around the head or around the back or even underneath the belly of the horse. The horn fly out in pasture can bite, and so again, they're going to be a little smaller. They still look like a house fly, but again, they're going to be a lot smaller. So, Identifying flies isn't necessarily the biggest aspect, but understanding that there's different species of flies can help in preventing different issues uh, when it comes to that of the horse as an annoyance, but also as a disease uh, that they can transmit. Now for an annoyance aspect and just trying to protect the horse itself from flies, there's a sure a lot of different fly sprays that are on the market to try to repel or prevent flies from getting on your horse. Uh, the biggest thing to remember is most fly products do not last forever. A lot of the oil-based products can last a little bit longer. You just have to be careful because when you start putting a lot of oil on your horse's skin, they can get a dermatitis or just a, uh, an infection of the skin based on too much oils and stuff on there. So when you look at the product, always read the label and apply it as it's recommended based on the label for that. But don't get frustrated on a lot of the fly sprays because they do get down regulated or broke down by sunlight and evaporation based on sunlight and wind. And so those products are usually, that's the cause. A lot of the flies aren't resistant to the fly spray. It's just the fly sprays aren't lasting that long with on there. There's also some spot-ons that you can put on the mane, the tail, to prevent things. And the aspect of kind of finishing up is that of disease. So there are some diseases that flies can't, or biting flies can kind of transmit. One being vesicular stomatitis, and two being equine infectious anemia that we test with the Coggins test. Again, the prevalence of those two diseases is pretty small, so it'd have to be kind of in the area that you'd have to be worried about, but controlling flies can sure try to help prevent your horse from getting those diseases. If you ever have any questions about flies and fly diseases, contact your veterinarian or give us a call at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State, and we'll see you around. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. Visit our picturesque town on the Santa Fe Trail for the Council Grove Fall Festival featuring the Voices of the Wind People pageant on the banks of the Neosho River, September 16 and 17. 